Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet and welcome to our next video in our St. Patrick's Day series. If you followed us in our first video, we did start things off a little bit on the easy side with a four leaf clover lapel pin. In this video, we're gonna up the ante a little bit and because we have gotten a lot of comments on making more keychains on the channel, this project today will be a bottle opener keychain and I promise you, if you take it to any St. Patrick's Day party, you're gonna make a lot of new friends. So for our project today, we are going to be using 550 paracord in Kelly Green. Now we do have 10 feet for our project today, but if you want a longer keychain, uh, 15 or 20 feet might be more sufficient for you. We have 550 white paracord already set up on our jig, ready to go. If you do need a reminder on how to set up the four strand core, we're going to put the link to a previous video in the description below. We have that white paracord double cow hitched onto our green carabiner. We have our bottle opener set up around our core strands. We have a double cow hitch down here at the bottom wrapped around our gold D-ring. And of course, to finish everything off, we do have our lancing needle, our lighter, and our scissors. So if you followed along in our previous video for the Hobark weave, we're going to be doing that weave for the majority of our keychain, and we are going to finish it off with some fishtail weaves. Our first step is we're going to find the middle of our Kelly green. We're going to place it behind our inner strands. We're going to take the right working strand. We're going to make a loop over top of the inner strands, just like so. We're then going to continue with that right working strand. We're going over top of the leftmost inner strand, underneath the next two, and over top of the right strand. With our left working strand, we want to make a little bit of a loop. And we're actually going to pinch that off right here. We're going to take that left working strand and go around the leftmost inner strand. With that same end, we're going to go through the loop that we have created with itself and the first loop that we created with our right working strand. As we bring that through, we can tighten up that top left wrap right there. For our next step, we will take that left working strand on the right side now and we're going to create the loop on the right side and the way that we create those loops is the same way that we created the first one we're going over top of the rightmost inner strand under the next two over top of the fourth one and then take that working strand and put it through the loop that we have created in the first place As we get it to about here, we do want to create that loop on the right side. We'll take our right working strand at this point, and we'll pinch that loop up. Now from here, we're simply going to start the weave over just on the right side instead of the left side. So we do want to make that little loop with our right working strand. We want to take the right working strand, and we want to go around the right most inner strand. We're going to take that working end, we're going to bring it back through the loop we just created and our first original loop. And we can always push up on the knot as we are creating it to make it just a little bit tighter and make it look more flush. With that same working strand, we want to create the loop now on the left side. So we're going to take the working strand, go over the left, under the next two, and over top of the right. We're going to take that working strand and put it through our original loop to create our left loop this time. We'll take the left working strand, we're going to pull on it to tighten the first loop. And now we're back exactly where we started in the first place. 
We're going to continue the weave and we'll come back to the video when we get to the fishtail weaves. All right, so now that we have gotten to the part of our keychain where we would like to switch it from the hauberk weave over to the fishtail weave, uh, the way that we do this is pretty easy. So we have pulled on both of our working strands just to make sure that all of our loops were down and connected. And then we did put the strands in the back. And from here, we're just going to do a simple fishtail weave where we're going to take the right working strand, bring it through the middle, bring it over to the left, take the left working strand, put it through the middle, bring it over to the right. So at this point, we have taken our keychain off of the jig. We have completed all of the fishtails at the bottom. And as we like to do here at Paracord Planet, we like to make sure that our strands are ending in the back just so we can cut them, singe them down, and everything would just be lying in the back so you don't see it in the front. So there we have our completed half, well, three-fourths hauberk weave. And then we did finish it off with our fishtail. We have our bottle opener on the bottom, our carabiners. This can be attached to a belt buckle. It can be attached to a book bag. It can be attached to literally anything you are taking to your St. Patrick's Day party. And of course, we did put our D-ring on the bottom. So if you wanted to throw some keys on there so you don't lose them, everything right here. Let's demonstrate how the keychain is going to work. We have our bottle that we want to get inside of. We have our keychain right here. We're going to throw it on. We're going to open up the bottle. And we're going to get to the liquid inside. Thank you so much again for checking out the video. If it did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. And of course, have a very safe but very fun St. Patrick's Day. Excuse me, sir. I got that top for you.